Hi, I'm Leanne and I'm a math tutor for high school students. I've always excelled in math and loved explaining concepts and helping others. In October 2020, I posted an ad to become an online math tutor. I have been meeting with students via Zoom ever since, and it has been so rewarding to watch concepts click and their confidence build over time. I believe the best way to learn is by doing. I'm a strong advocate for understanding and mastering material rather than mindless memorization. I ask that students send me the questions provided by their teacher ahead of time to avoid wasting time. Then, during our one-hour meeting, we will work through the problems together. First, I read the question, then ask what we're looking for and how we can find it. At times, the student may be clueless, in which case I will summarize the main points of the unit to provide the necessary background information. Then, I'll ask again. Other times, the student may have a false belief or make a common mistake. I usually let the student test out their method, then ask them if their answer makes sense. This way, the mistake becomes a learning opportunity and I get to explain why it didn't work and the correct way to solve the question. I am able to quickly assess where each student is at and adjust my teaching accordingly to meet their individual needs. For example, if they are understanding a concept, instead of completing 10 of the same types of questions, we will move on. Conversely, if a student has gaps in their knowledge from previous years, I will review that information and confirm their understanding through relevant questions. So how do I assess their comprehension? This is where one-on-one -on -one tutoring is superior to a classroom setting. Since we are learning through solving problems and actively engaging with the material, it is very obvious if the student is understanding or not. If they don't know where to start in solving the question or get stuck along the way, it means they haven't yet grasped the concept. I simply re-explain the concept and watch the student put two and two together and figure out the next step. Thinking for themselves as they would in an evaluation is such an important skill. I aim to provide each student with the knowledge, skills, and resources to do just that. Understand how to apply their knowledge.